Hi, I'm Diana, founder of Zero Work. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the building block update data. The example that I'm going to show is that we're going to qualify leads. So based on certain keywords in the job title, we're going to mark profiles as qualified or not qualified. In the last videos, I showed you how to save additional information to a list of profiles. So let's check the data table and the latest results. So we've got here about me section and job title. What I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to um, add a building block to check for a condition that job title should contain either a word developer or engineer and then mark those profiles as qualified. So that's why first step is to add a new column which we're going to call qualified. This column uh, is going to contain just a word yes if qualified and nothing if it's not qualified. So for example, out of these prof three profiles, this one is not going to qualify because it, the job title does not contain the word developer and it doesn't contain the word engineer. But these two will qualify. So let's add that, that logic. All we need to do is to add the building block called update data. Now let's set it equal to yes and then update the column qualified. Before that, however, we need to add a condition to check for those keywords. For that, let's add that condition. Conditions in Zero Work are added by this building block pair, which uh, is um, which consists of start condition, where we set the reference, and the reference is going to be job title. And then we need to set the condition that we are looking for. So in this case, we're looking for a condition contains keywords. It's going to be um, engineer or developer. You can also add multiple conditions, of course, if it's applicable to your use case. And now let's also auto align. All right, so if I run this taskboard, this taskboard is going to visit every profile and save additional information. So that's why I'm just going to deactivate simply by using shift and then dragging the mouse, then right clicking and then clicking on deactivate. What this will do is that taskboard will loop through the profiles, but it will skip all the steps and it will just go straight to the condition and update. Why am I doing it? Just to save uh, the recording time so that you don't need to watch this video for too long. In this case, we already got this data, we already have about and job title. And I'm also going to restrict my, my loop to just three profiles so that we have an example, but we don't go through all 50 profiles. And one thing that we should not forget is that we should add uh, here a, um, <clears throat> a connection. Otherwise, the taskboard may end here in the no action. All right, now let's run this taskboard. Okay, taskboard has finished. Let's take a look at the data table. So as you can see, we've iterated over first three profiles, this, this, and this. And the first two are marked with yes, because they contain uh, either developer or engineer as a keyword in their job title. And the third one does not, and that's why it was not qualified.